So, I may have done a bad thing. Some background. Cultura Pepe is a very classic and beloved Roman dish that is literally just pasta, usually spaghetti or some sort of similar noodle, Pecorino Romano cheese, which is a sheep's milk cheese, and lots of black pepper. I would say in the online cooking community, it's gotten a bit of a cult following, and also the flavor combination of pecorino and black pepper has become popular for good reason, because it is delicious. However, despite the simplicity of the dish, it is kind of a difficult technique to learn. The challenge becomes melting a relatively firm cheese into an emulsified sauce with really nothing but pasta water. And again, if you practice and you get good at it, I'm sure it can be very easy. But again, it requires a lot of finesse and I think a lot of trial and error. And even on Reddit, which I browse quite a bit, I see a lot of people asking about trouble with either Cacio e Pepe directly or Alfredo and other sauces that can be made with a similar technique. Now, I'm not usually one to create food hacks and shortcuts, but I found a way to make things both simpler and more complicated at the same time. Again, if you're familiar with some modernist cooking techniques, you will know about sodium citrate, which can be used to either make a really smooth cheese sauce or your own processed cheese slices. The awesome website Chef Steps has their own recipe for converting a variety of cheeses into a processed cheese texture, but I had never seen anyone make a cheese slice out of pecorino and black pepper. The proportions I used are on screen, and it came out really well. I did add a little bit of parmesan, but you can go full pecorino if you want. I just wanted a little extra funk in my cheese slice. The procedure is pretty simple. I started by grinding the, the black pepper in my spice grinder for a few pulses. I then sifted the fine particles directly into the cheese mixture. For convenience, the cheese, butter, and water mixture went into a jar and into a 75 celsius circulator to melt, although I think you could easily do this on the stove if you have good heat control. While the cheese mixture was melting, I got a crude mold ready, a blender ready, and toasted off the chunkier pieces of peppercorn to be stirred in at the very end. After a good hour to make sure that the cheese was totally melted and it was just a matter of blending it all together. It blended really easily, but you definitely need to act 
quickly because it does set up really quickly. Once you stir in the pepper, you just get it in the mold as fast as possible, and then it needs to set up in the fridge for at least a few hours or overnight. And honestly, it came out perfect. The sodium citrate does have a bit of a flavor to it, that tangy artificial cheese taste, but that kind of works with pecorino, which is slightly tangy anyways, and honestly, when the cheese is melted into a dish, I don't really taste the sodium citrate. I like a lot of pepper, so when I actually made the dish cacio e pepe, I did also add some additional fresh black pepper, but otherwise, I was able to make a cacio e pepe with the perfect texture, and it was very easy to do. The other great thing about these cheese slices is they're also really easy to incorporate into other dishes. I did a patty melt, but you could easily do a grilled cheese, a cheeseburger, melt it over some vegetables, whatever. It just gives you that delicious pecorino and black pepper flavor, but with a nicer texture. So I'm definitely going to be playing with sodium citrate more in the future, assuming Rome doesn't send an assassin to kill me. If you liked this video, please consider sharing and subscribing, and if you have any questions about the procedure, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching.